Hey everyone, in the following videos, we are going to talk about biological basis of behavior. In this video, we are going to talk about sensory systems and receptors. Sensory system is a part of the nervous system which is responsible for processing sensory information. It consists of sensory receptors, neural pathway and parts of the brain involved in sensory perception. The commonly recognized sensory system are those for vision, hearing, touch, taste, smell and balance. But senses are not limited to these as humans possess more or less about 10 different types of senses. The general senses are pain, temperature, touch, pressure, vibration and proprioception. Receptors for these sensations are distributed throughout the body. General sensations are received by general sensory receptors which are when stimulated send a sensation to the central nervous system. General sense receptors are basically of three types. They are extraceptors which provide info about external environment. Proprioceptors provide info about skeletal muscles and joints. Introceptors provide information about visceral organs and functions. Specific senses detect the sensation of taste, smell, hearing, equilibrium and sight only through specific sense organs present in the head region. This phenomenon is known as cephalization. It is said that Specific sensations are evoked by activity in single identified sensory units in man. Receptors are the stimuli receiving organs of the body. These are called sense organs. Sense organs are in fact windows through which information about various objects of the world is gathered. These are the primary organs of contact with the physical environment because our cognition or awareness about the world depends upon sense organs. The stimuli from the external world stimulates or activates the receptor mechanism of the sense organs and produce nerve impulses of information about the present stimulating conditions. The impulses are carried over through afferent fibers to the corresponding sensory area in the brain and making aware of the present stimulus. The windows or the receptors are the senses which function as primary channel of mental awareness which is termed as sensation. We do not know exactly how many sense organs one possesses. We commonly know that there are five sense organs. The other senses which are hidden within the body are involved in knowing the position of one's body in space, its movement, internal changes and physiological tensions when one is hungry, thirsty or tired. All these sensory organs can be broadly classified into the following three categories. Extra receptors are related to receiving information or getting stimulated from stimuli present in the external world. There are five known extraceptors which are the eyes, the ears, the nose, the skin and the tongue. Appropriate external stimulus stimulates the receptor cells within the organs as a result of which sensory nerve impulses are produced and conveyed to the appropriate sensory area in the brain and thus the individual becomes aware of the external stimuli. Extraceptors detect stimuli from the external environment. The introceptors detect stimuli in internal organs. Introceptors are related to the visceral organs of the body such as lungs, intestines, heart etc. These get stimulated from changes taking place in our internal organs of the body and produce sensations of the changes taking place in our internal environment. Examples of these are 
stomach pain, chest pain, headache, palpitation, etc. The last one is the proprioceptors, which are found in the peripheral regions of the body and are responsible for kinesthetic sensations. It should be clear that the muscles themselves are not the receptors, rather, they are the effectors or organs or response. But the muscles also contain receptor structures which give sensations whenever muscles take any moment to respond. In the next video, let us discuss about sensory processes. I hope you like this video. Do share and subscribe. Thank you.